right, now we are going to send it over to our crew in Carlsbad. This morning, we're taking a look at all the things that make the village by the sea great. All right, let's check in with Evan and Eric looking nice out there. So Chris and I would like a bunch of flowers to bring home as well as some strawberries. <laughs> if you could also grab some sure, strawberries yeah. and some Callaway yeah, Chrome the tours. Strawberry if, you, field, if you still have those far there. away here. Yeah. Yes, we do. We do. Uh, look, this place is amazing. 55 yeah. acres here. It took uh, 80 million seeds to pull, grow all these ranunculus. By the way, ranunculus has 1,700 to 1,800 different species in this family of yeah. ranunculus. And you can understand that when you look at all these all and the, the variety that we have here. Everything. We just got handed them. They smell amazing. Wonderful. Uh, beautiful morning here in Carlsbad. It's overcast, but honestly, it sets it very well for, yeah. you know, to be able to walk through peacefully nicely because we know that the summer days are coming where it is going to be just plain hot. So yes. you can get out now in the more spring-like energy. You're looking live at the fields, the white, the yellow, the red, and variety of flowers that we have here. One of the reasons these grow so well is because of the perfect climate, the perfect temperature exactly. here in Carlsbad, and we're feeling that here this morning. Um, so yeah, this is a great spot to visit here, open 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. every single day, and uh, pretty reasonably priced, $23 Absolutely. for dollars. It's $21 for seniors and members of the military, and then only $14 for kids 10 and under. Yeah. So pretty easy to get in, to get the family all together for it. And you've got so many options. Then you can go to the strawberry fields and pick some strawberries. You can go to the coast. You can go you to Legoland. Day out of it. Literally. Stop oh, by perhaps a week, like we said. At 9 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> so many th cool things to do here. A rich history here and in Carlsbad as well. Netta Ranpour looked into that. Dive in or let go in the city of Carlsbad. Founded in 1952, Carlsbad is now home to nearly 115,000 residents, but its small town feel is what attracts many. What is it not? It's everything. It's got the best vibe. The people are great. The village is great. You can spend most of your time on foot rather than a vehicle. Even with the charm of a small town, several major attractions can be found in Carlsbad, like Legoland and the flower fields. The city is just 45 minutes north of San Diego. National Geographic named Carlsbad among the 25 happiest cities in the country in 2020, a sentiment that many people here agree with. The people are really, really wonderful, and it's just a really, really warm community. We could sit here and say hi to people that walk by they'll say hi back so in other areas of the country you don't you don't necessarily get that home to california's first skate park the carlsbad skate park opened in 1976 it's no longer open, but this city is known as one of the birthplaces of skateboarding. In fact, skateboarding legend Tony Hawk lived here. And a world of water completed in 2015. The iconic desalination plant creates nearly 50 million gallons of safe drinking water every single day for San Diego County. The plant serves a third of San Diego's yearly drinking water. And therapeutic mineral water started in 1882, where they pull water straight from Carlsbad's wells and sell in over 900 stores. I'm a paddleboarder and I love going out as far as I can here and seeing the dolphins and the wildlife and everything else. And surfs up seven miles of pristine beaches for those of you who prefer surfing, swimming, or paddling. What's referred to as the village by the sea. Carlsbad has something for everyone. This is California living right here in Carlsbad. Probably the best place to live in the world. I think everyone says in their city, best place to yeah. live in the world. But when we talk about Carlsbad and just about North County, San Diego yeah. in general, I feel like it's most <laughs> accurate, right? <laughs> and village, uh, some village when you have 115,000 right. people that live Maybe here. Maybe once it was a village, right. but now a, a pretty big city of course, in Southern California. Uh, one of the biggest draws is Legoland, which came here to California in 1999. There were locations across the world, yes. six other locations. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the lo seven locations is right here. If you haven't gone there to visit, make sure you take the family out there. It is such a fun time. Dino Valley is one of their uh, premium yeah. areas to visit. They've got the Dino Man there. They've got different rides. So it's a perfect place to visit, and that's where we want to send things out to. We have our very own CBS 8's Alex Lai hey, Alex. at Legoland, and she's got just a whole parade behind her. Good morning to you, Alex. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah, that's right. This is a parade, and it's going to be coming this summer. We're so excited, Legoland, where everything is awesome, and everything is always 
super fresh. I'm here with Christina, uh, one of our favorites at Legoland, who can you please tell me a little bit about the parade, all these amazing characters behind us. Yes, Legoland California Resort is excited to launch North America's very first Lego World Parade here at Legoland California. Wow, it will feature first. new characters, six floats, inspired by a swashbuckling pirate ship like our captain pirate <laughs> back here. We will have a red, a bright red Lego, Lego City fire truck. We'll have floats inspired by Lego Duplo, Lego Friends, Lego okay. Ninjago. Something for everyone. And four new characters, is that right? That's right. So the parade will feature six characters, four of which are new. We're going to be announcing them very soon. So okay. you're going to want to stand by on our social media at Legoland California to find out who is revealed upcoming. Sweet. And you yes. can also see a behind the scenes, right, on your social media? Exactly, yes. For those interested in what it takes to be a part of a parade, especially a parade of this caliber where there's over mm -hmm. 50 performers with every parade run, uh, you can follow along to find out what it takes to go into it. What do the auditions look like? What do the rehearsals look yeah, like? The awesome. music and all of that. And of course, that's going to be launching really soon leading up to the summer. Great. And then it's going to be every day, right? That's right. So throughout the summer season, you'll have to stand by for that yes, launch date. Yeah. Uh, but we will announce the days and times of the parade run. But that will be coming this season and run all throughout, along with our different entertainment that we have. Yes, please uh, introduce us to some of the characters, also some of our tricksters over here. Yes, so it is our 25th birthday at Legoland California um, Resort. Congrats. Happy birthday. Thank you. And <laughs> with that, we want to bring guests the most fun and exciting entertainment possible. And with that, we are bringing back back our fan favorite show go extreme that features extreme sports stunts we have jack and vince over here that are part of the show hey and they are professional scooter riders and bikers we have skateboarders in the Whoa. show we have pogo sticks it is a really exciting i've, I've seen it already about four times yeah. this year and, and launching they're going all out flips everything right yes these guys are really really fun you can see them flip soar through the air awesome. throughout the summer season that kicks off on may 18th our go extreme show and then we have a whole birthday block party full of entertainment for guests this amazing. summer amazing okay sweet and so first ever right so this is really exciting how excited are we here at legoland oh we are so excited this parade the lego world parade is going to be truly the the best part of your day after riding the over 60 ride shows and attractions wow. we here at yes. legoland this is going to be the perfect touch to the end of your day it'll run through the west side of the park so we're in fun town right now uh -huh. and it'll go all the way through lego movie world for guests to sing and dance along with perfect thank you christina we cannot Wait, so happy to be here at Legoland this morning, one of the awesome places in Carlsbad. All right, we'll give you a little <laughs> a little dance. So I pass back to you guys. I'm gonna have fun, little dance party, getting ready for the parade this summer. Yeah, one of the coolest places in the country, really. We're so lucky to have yeah. Legoland here. Uh, so many wonderful family memories I have there. I know so many San Diegans uh, as well, two people from across the country ahead there. There's only one other location in the U.S., right, Florida, and then a couple other locations that are worth mentioning. They've got one in U.K., Germany, Denmark, Dubai, and Malaysia. So we're very fortunate to have Legoland here in our own backyard. So we get our backyard. It is a nice day out here in Carlsbad, a nice, comfortable uh, weather out here for you to come visit us here. Starting at 9 a.m., it opens up. Let's see how the rest of the forecast is going to look here today in Carlsbad and around San Diego County. Let's check in with Evan now. We have had a great morning. Good morning, Eric. Good morning to all of you at home joining us. Happy Friday. Overcast skies as we start off the day here from the Carlsbad flower fields. And you can see what conditions are like out there as we speak. Carlsbad at 58 degrees. Overnight lows have been really mild, and that's because of the abundance of clouds that we've had. 59 right now in downtown San Diego, 58 in Chula Vista. When we look at our chances for rain, they are slim. And I know that there are a lot of people celebrating that. We are looking at seven days of dry weather across San Diego. By the time we get to a full week out, Thursday of next week, that chance gets to about 16%, still nothing too abundant considering we are below that about 50% threshold. So we're still gonna be looking pretty good over the next week or so. Do keep in mind that for the weekend into next week, we will have plenty of mornings that are like this morning. Overcast, a little bit foggy to start off the day. 
And then as the day progresses, those clouds begin to break apart. So we're already really mild overnight, and we're just going to get warmer from here. Once those clouds break apart, we'll really notice that warm up to 66 degrees in Carlsbad. Is that forecast high? 71 for Escondido, 71 for Poway, and 73 for Ramona and El Cajon this afternoon. Look at Borrego Springs breaking into the 90s on that afternoon high. These highs for your Friday are a few degrees cooler than average in most spots, but hey, I mean, you're very closely in line with average. On the eight-day microclimate forecast, we've got partly cloudy skies as far as the eye can see all through the next eight days. Weekends comfortable in the upper 60s along the coast, mid and upper 70s inland. And then as we get into next week, those inland valleys will start to take on a gradual cool down back to the mid 60s. Mountains and deserts are pretty similar out there in that they are going to have a lot more sunshine, but they're also going to notice that warm up. So look at Sunday across the mountains and deserts, 80 for the mountains, 96 for the deserts, cooling down as we get into next week, all the way down to the mid 50s by the time we get to Friday of next week, mid 70s across the deserts. So we will take on a bit of a cool down, but we at least are looking at a beautiful eight day forecast that includes dry skies out there.